Hey guys, um, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a really quick um, another haul video. Um, it seemed like these were really liked. Happy to share my finds with you guys and hopefully you guys found some stuff you liked. Um, this is going to be started. a couple of things kind of from the same places. Um, Forever 21, H&M, and um, maybe Target. Yeah, I think I have like a thing or two from Target. Um, so I'm just going to get started. And I needed some basics. So a lot of the stuff that I've been getting is really like um, dressier clothes. And I need more stuff that was more going to be like basic clothes. Um, like t-shirts, tank tops, that kind of thing. Um, great for layering. So I got some of that kind of stuff. So I got this black tank top from Forever 21. And I ordered it online because I ordered a couple things online. So just plain simple black tank top. Um, then I also got the cream one. Um, and so I got something else from there, and it's just this blouse. So I ordered this online too. I really couldn't find, wanted it, and I couldn't find it in the store, and I just thought it was really cute. Um, sheer blouse, and I just really like the details on it. So it's like got these little sequin, they're not sequins, they're actually like faux leather, but you know, around like, it's like palette. I don't know how to say that word, whatever. Um, you know what I'm saying. Um, on the shoulders and I thought that was really cute and so I just ordered that online and this was 1980 and both of those tank tops were like 280 or something so you ne never can really go wrong let me see I want to give you the right price um yeah 280 super cheap um so the next few things I got from H&M and I got like this really cute oversized sweater um it's kind of go off the shoulder and it's long and it's longer in the back and I felt like this would be really cute and comfy with some leggings so I grabbed that and this was 24 this was probably the most expensive thing I got $24.95 so everything obviously is super cheap and then also from H&M I got some just basic t-shirts like well long sleeve shirts because I needed a few of those so I just got a white one this was $12.95 um, I just like the the long, the big wide collar and it's kind of sheer though but I like that it's a little burnout and then these were on sale for seven dollars um, these little Henley type tops and I got this one and I got it bigger because I wanted to wear them with leggings and like kind of under like fur vests or just whatever and I wanted to use them for layering so these, this was seven bucks and they had several colors in these and I got this one enlarged because like I said I wanted it to be like kind of a looser fit comfier top and I like that and then I got just a plain black one and I needed this one to go with the next thing I'm going to show you and this was $9.95 and like I said I like the wider collar next so I just grabbed that just long sleeves so all really simple stuff um, just to give me some basics for my closet um, I feel like you always have to replace those every year especially if you get like cheap ones like I do um, and then I got that black one really to go under this cool vest I found this vest and it was 1980 at H&M and it's fur faux fur um, on like the front and then it's just knit on the back and it's got like a cute little faux leather tie for around the waist so I thought this was really cute there was only like two left and the one was extra small and then I like rummaged around for a little bit and found this one it's a medium and I was like that was perfect um this extra small it fit but I wanted it to be a little not like so fitted <laughs> so um but this was 1995 which I thought was a really great deal so that was that that's from H&M that's all and then oh I forgot to show you my boots that I got um what I why I ordered online from Forever 21 anyways for these boots and I'll grab those in a second but um, I got this sweatshirt from Target. So I really have been liking the, like, the little laid back look um, with the sweatshirts. And they have like little sequence detailing and stuff like that. And they had a ton um, that they have that are newer. This was I think maybe from the last season. But the, sh the sleeves are about the same length as the ones now. They're not a full sleeve. So I saw this in clearance and it was like $7. And it's really cute and comfy. And I like how the bottom is not like um, banded. I hate that. I think any girl with hips kind of doesn't really like banded bottoms it's just loose and kind of curls up a little bit so it's just really slouchy off the shoulders really cute so like that so if you're um go to your local target and check your clearance section you might be able to find one of these if you're looking for um like one of their sweatshirts because the ones that they have out right now are 20 bucks and seven or 20 and they're pretty much identical on um, the sequence are just in different places um and i'm just going to grab those boots because i want to 
So this is kind of like the main event because this is what I ordered online for anyway. So I wanted to get these cognac boots from Forever 21. They've got like a little bit of a wedge heel and they go up right above my knee. And I really like them. They're pretty comfortable. They're a little stiff. So at first when I was walking them, I felt like robotic. But um, now that I've broken them in a little bit, they've, they're have they great. They're comfortable, like I said, and they fit really good. So I highly recommend these because they're $26 and that's super cheap. And I feel like the... The quality, I mean, granted they're not real, um, but it doesn't look like super cheesy or fake or whatever. I think these are, I got a lot of compliments on them since I've um, gotten them. Um, and then I just got a few makeup items that I'm going to talk about really quick. So I finally got their Lorac Pro palette and I'm so excited. Um, and it comes with like a little eyeshadow primer and I'm just really excited because I really liked um, the holiday ones that I picked up and like I said, those type of things sometimes you know they, they kind of are not the the highest of quality even though I think they're really good I do think that this palette is like a million times better in the quality and pigments of these shadows is a lot better and I love it so on the top row you have your mattes and on the bottom you have um, more of your shimmery stuff and you can just do so many looks with these and I feel like they picked great colors um, that go with everyone's like I color it's just pretty I love this palette so I highly recommend it um, I couldn't even choose between I almost feel like I like this better than my naked palette so check that out if you're interested and I got a couple of lip products so um, I did mention that I had gotten the new Revlon color stay lipstick um, the ultimate suede line that just came out and I got like a light pink one and socialite and I was really enjoying that so and then I was watching it's Judy time and she did a review on um, this color here backstage and like how long it stayed on and everything so I really really had to go and get um, that color because it was so pretty so I just wanted to show you guys I picked that up and this one like I said is backstage and it is just that color and and her stayed on the whole time so I'm gonna try it out for myself um, and see how long they stay on I'll keep you guys posted on that and and I picked up this other one in supermodel which is a little lighter and that one and it's there and I just really like these and I actually have the supermodel on right now so that is those and then I picked up another stay glossy lip gloss I talked about this last time and this one is in captivate me and it's just like a berry color and I talked about it I think actually maybe in my fall lip colors but I picked it I picked it up um, pretty recently so I want to show you that in case you haven't seen that and that is pretty much it for makeup I did grab a couple of things from um, Bath and Body Works because I had like a t some coupons and they let you use your coupons at the same time so I got $10 off a $30 purchase and then I got a free signature item with um, that was like a value of $12 or less uh, for free with any purchase so for that I chose um, some more Japanese cherry blossom lotion because I love this scent like I just can't get enough of it and I'm out of the lotion that I had for it and I just love having this on at night it smells so good um, and I still have like all the other parts of the set but I just like burn through the lotion so I grabbed that and it was free so that's great and then I got a couple candles and I got this um, mahogany teakwood candle which smells just like a Hercombe it smells so good like my whole room right now smells like it I love it um so I picked this up and then I picked up a smaller candle in what is this one French baguette oh it smells so good I really like this one too so kind of it does smell kind of like bread <laughs> but kind of not I don't know I like it though I like it a lot I feel like these are really nice fall scents and I really like when my house smells kind of like food <laughs> but um so I'll probably keep that in the kitchen. I'm going to probably use this in like my bedroom and in my makeup room. And then I got this bag from Target, which is just like a little crossbody um, cognac colored bag, which I felt like I needed because um, like I've really been into the crossbody, just having the smaller bags over the big purses. And I have a black one and then I just kind of have like the fringy one. Um, and I felt like I kind of needed a more simple one. So I picked this up from Target for $24.99. Um, they still have that there. And it's got a lot of compartments, so I like that. So if you're interested in getting a bag like this, I would go check it out. Um, you might be able to find a better one, but I've been looking around and I hadn't really found one that I love or that was like enough space. So I kind of jumped on this one. And I thought the price was pretty good, so... 
Um, but that is every say, uh, everything. So I just wanted to thank you guys for watching. If you have any other questions, we um, post a comment below. If you want to hear a review or anything on any of the makeup products, um, I'll probably definitely do a post um, on the Lorac palette, at least with the swatches. And I mean, just talking about how awesome it is because it is pretty awesome. Um, but if you want any on the lip products, um, just let me know and I will talk to you guys next time.